a few weeks ago in the Steam Deck subreddit, a member uploaded some up-close images of their OLED version that shows a green and magenta fringing on the white edges of user interface elements. They noted that this was more apparent on the text, but it was also there in icons as well. The image here is an up-close image of the LCD panel, and here is the OLED panel. Now this isn't isolated to the Steam Deck itself, as the issue has been pointed out on many devices out there, including smartphones and TVs. And it's happening because of how these subpixels are arranged. And for some people, it's simply too distracting, so it causes them to constantly be aware of it. Now you can see the comment here that mentions this needs to be fixed at the OS level. But as of yet, there hasn't been a fix released by Valve for SteamOS. However, earlier today, a community developer was able to get a Deki Loader plugin published that mostly fixes this issue. That will require you to have Deki Loader installed. So if you haven't done that yet, pause this video and then go install it. I'll even include a link to a guide down in the description below that will walk you through the process for those who are interested in learning. This Deki Loader plugin looks to be made by Reddit user Jack of Sum and adds a shader to the display to reduce the amount of subpixel fringing that occurs. This fix certainly isn't perfect, but as you can see here, this is what an up-close image looks like on the OLED panel without the shader enabled. And this is what it looks like with the shader enabled. To install it, we simply need to bring up the quick settings panel by pressing on the three dot button on the right side of the Steam Deck. And then we're going to go to our Decky Loader menu. And from here, we're going to tap on the store icon in the top right corner. Now, we're going to scroll through this list until you find the plugin. Re Shea Deck, all one word, R E S H A D E C. We're going to go ahead and install it. And then you're going to see it added to our Decky Loader menu here. So that now when we go into here, we can choose to enable the shader by selecting it from the menu here. You can see we have defringe Samsung OLED fix.fx. So we're going to tap on that to select it. And that's going to enable that shader on our Steam Deck. If we want, we can always come back here and change this to no shader. Because make note of this message right here. Enabling any custom shader is going to impact the performance of anything you play on the Steam Deck. Now, I haven't seen any numbers comparing how this specific shader affects the Steam Deck performance with it on and then with it off but it's likely going to depend on which game you're actually playing at the time anyway. Initial reviews seem really positive about this Decky Loader plugin and its ability to fix the green, red, yellow, and blue fringing that many of us are seeing on OLED Steam Decks with a Samsung panel. Those of you with a display from BOE, it's currently advised not to install this because the developer has yet to optimize the values for that panel since they own a Steam Deck that has a Samsung display. However, with help from the community, this could be fixed in a future update to the plugin. So for those of you with an OLED Steam Deck that has a Samsung display, let me know in the comment section below if this plugin was able to help fix the sub-pixel fringing issue on your specific deck.